Hey, what's happening? This is Tom Nerd Remix.com. I got a movie for you today that's kind of a uh, drama comedy uh, slash disguised as a uh, character study. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Tom, 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 oh, Tom. You guys always review the sci-fi and horror stuff, and uh, yes, but we are dedicated to promoting independent cinema because uh, that's the only place you're going to find good quality ideas. Why is Hollywood remaking shit like The Monsters for a TV pilot? That's a very good question, and the short answer is because they have no good ideas. And because nobody will put any money behind anybody that does have a good idea, is and that's where you're, you know you're finding your quality films in the indie world. Now the movie in question today was written by Matt James and uh, produced and directed by uh, Dylan Reynolds. It is called Nipples and Palm Trees. I know, and it's not what you think. Um, this stars. Uh, um, Matthew James is a uh, loser artist named Jackson living in L.A. And uh, I, I spent some time out there in the late 80s, early 90s, and uh, L.A. hasn't changed much. And uh, Jackson is a uh, kind of an erotic artist. He's got a uh, fucked up uh, job as a telemarketer. And, uh, by the way, uh, Akihiro Kitamura as his uh, Asian-Japanese uh, co-worker is very good in this uh, with his hairless Japanese balls. Um Anyway, Jackson is looking for love in all the wrong places. He has a girlfriend uh, that's kind of on again, off again, sneaks out in the middle of the night because she's afraid of commitment. And uh, she's played by Sadie Katz, a very beautiful young actress. And uh, she does amazing in this, And uh, as does Matthew James, because that's what really carries this story, is the phenomenal acting by the two leads. And uh, Matthew ba uh, Jackson, as the character is named, uh, basically goes through uh, a lot of uh, trials and tribulations concerning his love life and you know ultimately his personal life uh kind of uh wanting to settle down he's reached that point in his life to where uh, cheap sex doesn't mean that much to him and uh he finds uh cheap sex wherever he looks for it basically even when he's not looking for it and it turns out all his uh hopes of relationship turn out to be uh, dysfunctional be it with his girlfriend with a, a masseuse at the massage parlor uh random pickup on the street and uh you know a girl he meets uh, at the grocery store who he you know thinks he uh, has a spark with uh, things turn really uh, really bizarre different parts of this uh, parts of it are laugh out loud funny which is very cool um, some very cool set pieces involving uh, some uh, anal beads beads and a lot of lube and uh, some very cool one-liners and, and and you know and uh, him showing up at the wrong door, a few things like that. Uh, very cool narrative, very cool pace to this movie, and uh, a lot of laughs. And there's also some really deep drama here. And uh, the movie is kind of shot in, in an artsy way, and uh, it's kind of is an art film. Uh, you can tell the people involved. I don't know if this is a fact or not. Probably went to film school, uh, but it does all of that without the fucking truckloads of pretense that usually go with a film like this. And that's what makes it so endearing, and that's what makes it so uh, heartfelt and so uh, so uh, hitting you in a visceral way. And uh, it's a very emotional film, and uh, a very very funny film, and uh, a very effective film. Um, so, uh, like I said, uh, I don't want to give too much of the plot away. And there is a good plot, and there's a good story, and uh, where it ultimately ends up is is kind of uh, not what you expected. But uh, it's not your typical uh, Hollywood love story or uh, looking for love story, as it were. But like I said, this movie is definitely carried by the performances of Matthew James and uh, Sadie Katz as the uh, two primary players in this, Jackson and his uh, very dysfunctional relationship with his girlfriend. And uh, that's really what uh, makes this movie so endearing is, is the, the interplay between those two. And uh, there's been so many of us that have been in this uh, situation, and there's definitely situations in this movie that you can relate to. So uh, that being said, uh, the story of Jackson, the loser artist in L.A., trying to uh, you know find love and uh, find happiness and uh, find uh, some kind of uh, vindication for the way he feels uh, is definitely you know an 8 out of 10 as far as you know a uh, a numerical rating for this but like i said a very heartfelt story very funny story at times and uh a very endearing uh study of uh the, the human nature and uh what uh, you may uh want and what you uh, ultimately may get out of life and uh, it's kind of a microcosm in this story so definitely check it out it's called Nipples and Palm Trees, and it was directed by uh, Dylan Thomas, written by Matt James, and starring principally uh, Matthew James as Jackson and Sadie Katz, a beautiful, talented young woman, as his uh, paramour. So definitely check it out. 8 out of 10. I'm Tom, nerdremix.com. Support independent cinema. Thanks. Huge cloud of shit. Wow. Got it.
think I smell it. Come on, let's go.